Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day nine of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and no free points. Uh, let me know what you think about today's problem and so forth. Uh, no video today, or no, uh, no intro today with uh, f funky stuff. Um, I'm in London right now uh, for the next, I guess, just one day until tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, there's some, I mean, it's just a really, uh, really crazy time to be, you know, in London, I suppose, because of, you know, the, the Queen RIP, right? So, uh, so yeah, um, I don't know what's going on. So anyway, today's farm is, yeah, let's get started on today's farm. Today's farm is the number of weak characters in the game, 1996. You're playing a game that contains multiple characters. Each of the characters has two main properties, attack and defense. You could have been given a 2D array attack defense said to be weak if both. Okay. A character said to be weak if any other character has both attack and defense strictly. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, so. I think the way to do this is just by sorting on one. Di I, I think in this particular case. Um. In this particular problem, uh, it's symmetric, right? What I mean by that is that there's really no difference between, like, there's nothing. The attack and defense is essentially the same. It's just a value that you use to compare to other weak, uh, other characters that may or may not be weak. And so, in this case, I think you can just sort and sweep line, um, meaning that, um, yeah, meaning that. As long as, because in this case, all you need to do is find one case in which uh, 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 a character gets dominated and then they're a weak character, right? So, okay. So, let's just say weak is equal to zero. Um, we might have to phrase it a little bit better. Uh, and just for laziness, I'm going to sort by the first dimension. So, then th what does that mean, right? Uh, we, might, we might have to reverse this. Uh, this is kind of greedy, so I'm trying to think about it as well. As I'm talking about it, so if I'm a little bit sloppy, let me know in the comments. Um, but okay, let's say we sort by. So okay, I think I want to sort the other way though. I want to reverse this, um, because uh, in in this case, what we want is to kind of maintain an invariant, right? And it and the invariant is that as we go from, and this is just thinking about the attack dimension, the, the first dimension, right? So it's. Because we sort by the first dimension, that means that as we go from left to right, from index 0 to n, or n minus 1, as we do that, then as long as there's a, wait, weak, oh, it has to be strictly greater than, so may, there is some like, you know, we might have to, to um, yeah, we have to, we have to do some like minor, uh, you know, thing to make sure that handles the, the strictly greater than part versus the, you know, um, the other thing, like a, a greater than or equal to, um, but still going from left to right, the invariant is that if you're strictly smaller on the other element, then because the assumption is that on the first dimension you're already going to be, you're going decreasingly, right, or not increasing, I suppose. You, but let's say you're going decreasing. Uh, do, do you? Okay, I, I just want to check whether they're unique because if they're unique, then it's easier as well, obviously. But but yeah, so you're going to it from zero to n minus one. Dimension one is decreasing, so as long as a number is smaller than uh, dimension two, or a, a a number, if you're processing it, if a number is smaller than another number that you've seen before, then you know th then that means that this number or this character is weak. Okay. Hopefully that was a, a an okay explanation. Uh, maybe I need more visualization, but. I feel like that's okay. So let's get started. I think, like I said, though, the thing is about strictly greater, so we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, and in this case, like, there are other maybe similar some scenarios in which you have to do some binary search on every every uh, every character, but here, we can be greedy, right? And what, what do I mean by that? What I mean by greedy is that because you want to find only one character that's... Um, bigger or larger number in one in the second dimension in defense we can just always choose the largest defense right so it kind of becomes like a a, a delayed 
uh, some delayed something, right? So yeah. So basically, what we have, maybe we, uh, you know, I I think I have all the pieces in my head. So we'll see. We'll take a look into it. But now we have, let's say the, the the max is equal to say negative. Is this can it be a negative number? No, it has to be a positive number. But I'm gonna write negative infinity anyway. And then, uh, and then now maybe uh, current max is equal to negative infinity as well. But the idea here is just to differentiate the strictly greater than stuff. So then now we have for attack and defense in properties, right? Uh, and maybe we do, uh, let's say last attack, right? Is equal to, I don't know, uh, infinity just because we're going decreasing. So then we go if attack is equal to last attack. Um, Okay, let's say if it's not equal to last attack, right? Then what happens? Well, then we do last attack is equal to attack. But then that also means that we get to update max, right? So max is equal to the previous max, maybe? Let's just say pending max. Maybe that's a little bit of a better name. Pending max. And, and that's the resolution. But we also have to do... Um, so... Pending max is equal to max of pending max, and then defense. That's these are the updates. So we have to check first whether um, if defense is less than max strictly, then we do a weak increment by one. So that's the the the, the big money thing, right? Okay, and then so that's if this is the so if this is the uh, if we have a new attack, that means that we, what am I doing here? Is that like for example, if we have uh, okay, the examples don't actually have it, so I was trying to look for, but let's say you have like five, 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 four, uh, and then uh, I don't know, four, ten, right? So in this case, we don't want to update the max to five until we pass all the fives, right? Uh, actually, I think we can, I mean, I'm thinking I'm, now that I think about it, I think I'm complicated this things. I think what we can do actually is just sort this backwards as well on the defense. I mean, what I'm doing will work and, you know, you just have to be careful. Um, but if we sort it the other way, then we can assume that, you know, the four will be, if there's a bigger number, it'll be from a previous greater thing. So actually, I think we can do it that way. And then now that makes our code even easier. So then we just have max and we don't have to worry about last attack. And then we just go with defenses. Duh, 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 duh. And then we can do something like max is equal to max of defense or max. Uh, and then here we sort more specifically. Uh, oh, oops. Here is equal to down there. X of. Um, so we want to sort by decreasing first element and then increasing uh, second element. And I think now this is good actually. Hmm. So maybe you see my progression as I go over it. But I think the, the tricky part is stuff like this, where um, where um, where the tie breaking rules are, because the the input that they give you is kind of pretty straightforward. So mm, that thing, oops, okay. Uh, do I need to get rid of that space? I think I have the extra space for it. Okay, so that looks okay, though that's still not confident because it's still like zero one one. But let's give it a quick submit because I'm lazy, and then we'll see. That took way too long, to be honest. But for maybe not. All right, um, cool. That's that's all I have, I suppose. I have eight hundred ninety two days. Yay! Um, this is you know because of sorting, it's going to be n log n. And of course, the rest is just linear. So, you know, um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Stay safe, everybody. I'll see you later. And yeah, take care. Bye-bye.